If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show, and this is a show you do not want to miss. Taylor Swift, of course, trending worldwide. Her new song, You Need to Calm Down. And I wonder what it could be about. Hmm. Well, from one glance, you could figure out what it's about. From a few lyrics, you could figure out what it's about. And you can just use common sense and see that this is nothing more than an attack on free speech, on Christians around the world. And if this was flipped the other way around, this would be hate speech towards Christians, because technically that's what this is. It's a mockery of anybody who speaks out and doesn't believe and accept the LGBTQ, XYZ, whatever. Agenda. Lyrics such as, you need to just stop. You could just step on my gown. But you'd rather be in the dark ages, making that sign, must have taken all night. And then in the song, which I'm going to cover and show you all the Masonic, same symbols over and over that we always see. But you can see the protesters, which are Christian protesters, Holding up signs like God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, which, by the way, is still one of my favorites. And all sorts of signs. And what we have is Taylor Swift's created a queer utopian society, right? Is that, the, is that word okay to use without offending someone? Because that's what it is. So we have trans, we have gays, we have everybody walking around. Wearing the flag, you know, waving the flag uh, proudly, even though the, the flag was hijacked, of course, from God's promise to not flood the earth again, because that's what the rainbow really represents. But of course, they've hijacked it and taken it because that's what they do. They invert everything that's good in this world and make it bad. And we get this utopian society right off the bat. What's the first thing we see? We see random things. And you might say, well, that's a stretch. Well, it's not a stretch. Because they always place these things in spots so that you can see them. Because that's how it works. You'll see that they show a table in front of Taylor Swift. You get a you know something filled with dice. And what do you get? Six, six, six. And then right next to it, you can see the two 33s touching one another. Is that a coincidence? No, it's not. Somebody just didn't dump all the dice into there. And they all just ended up being with sixes facing up and then 33s touching one another. Okay? Otherwise, if they did, then they might want to go down to a casino because they clearly can roll the dice, uh, you know, pretty well. All right? You can see it's deliberately done right in your face with the 666. Now, Taylor Swift, of course, this is about love, remember. The whole thing they've tied into the LGBT agenda is love. Because love to them is tolerance. Remember, Aleister Crowley's quote, do, without, well, do what thou wilt, and love is the law. Love under will. Okay? Love is being used, it's being hijacked. And Christians just don't seem to understand it because they take it out of context. When it's mentioned in the Bible about God, you know, Jesus and the love and and. You know, any anything in the Bible that's, that uses the word love, people like to use it because it's easier to be positive than it is to be negative. So they've u- they're using the word love to make everyone tolerate and give in to this do-whatever-you-want mindset, which is the satanic mindset. So then we get Taylor Swift after seeing the 666. She removes her robe. And what do we see on her back? Just a bunch of butterfly tattoos on her back. So this is pretty obvious if you're not aware, Okay. The butterfly represents MK Ultra. It represents mind control. All of these musicians are mind controlled slaves. They are doing the wilt of their handlers. They are doing the bidding of the New World Order. They are the influencers. 
And you can see always in these videos, like over and over, these people aren't just, you know, don't have butterfly farms on their home, right? They're not raising butterflies and just obsessing with butterflies and going on, you know, trips around the country so they could see the, some of the unique butterfly species, okay? They're always showing you butterflies because they're always showing you who's in control and how this works. MK Ultra is real. If you don't believe in it, look it up. Doc, it's documented. You've even had Bill Clinton on record talking about it, okay? The CIA did it. They pretended they took it away, just like they do with everything else. Taylor Swift is no different than anyone in the music industry. These are all mind control slaves. Their job is to influence you, to socially engineer you. And that is the reason that they are all so pro-LGBT, because this is part of the satanic agenda. I'm sorry to break anyone's heart. That's the truth of the matter, okay? They have brainwashed the masses into this. And this, like I said, this whole video is nothing but an attack on Christianity where you could just see, oh, look at all the evil Christian protesters. Calm down. You need to calm down and accept it. They even have a guy in the video who's supposed to look like Jesus, you know, in the pro you know, hanging out and, and, you know, I don't know what the proper word is, acting the way he's acting. And yes, this isn't what Jesus is supposed to look like, but nonetheless, this is the image that we think of when we, you know, that we've been told anyway, they do that. They can, they're allowed to do all this type of stuff. Right. And then we, we even get, we get the trans and everybody, we get Ellen DeGeneres popping up. We get, look at this right here for everybody to see. Look at the clothes. We get the, uh, all the drag Queens come out for their drag parade. And look, there's your black and white checkerboard outfit, your Masonic outfit, because this video is brought to you by your friends at the Freemason lodges and, your friends at the New World Order who are socially engineering you into pretty much death because that's what they stand for. So you can see the black and white Masonic colors. That's always there. Then who do we see pop up? We see good old Katy Perry dressed as a hamburger and Taylor Swift dressed as French fries. And somehow this is, this is one of the top trending things worldwide right now, despite all the things going on in the Middle East and all the people who are... Just, there's so many problems in this world. This is trending worldwide. Katie and Taylor. Oh, isn't this wonderful that they're doing this for the LGBT? And then nobody goes, well, wait a minute. They shouldn't be mocking Christians like that. That's not fair. Or telling them they're in the dark ages and making them look like buffoons. Because remember, in all of these types of things, they always make Christians look like buffoons. This is how they socially engineer. Because kids see this stuff. And then they think that Christians are being hateful, awful people. They, you know, they have a bald guy with a long beard. They got guys that look like they, you know, hicks almost, right? Unattractive women. I mean, this is what they're trying to say. Well, this is what Christians look like. Look at them in their, you know, weird clothes. And, you know, a, woman, a woman's in like a, a heavy, <laughs> one is in overalls. And then the other's in like a heavy coat, you know, in the middle of summer while everyone's out suntan. I mean, could be up for it. You know, pretty much saying, well, they can't show, they don't even show their skin and stuff like that. You know, and what this does is this engineers kids because they see this and then they go, oh, Christianity. I don't even want to look into what it is. I don't even want to read the Bible because these are hateful bigots, horrible people. And they want to be like their heroes, Taylor Swift and Katy Perry and all these other people who pop up in the video. And of course, they end it by giving you the heart symbol, right? Which you might as well just call the tolerate symbol because this is all about tolerating and tolerance. All right, that's what love is about to them because that's how they get this agenda pushed across by making people accept everything that everybody wants to believe, except, except for Christians, except for a belief in Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. They even throw in a mockery of, of crowns, you know, throwing a crown in the air and saying that they wear the crowns. Well, we all know that Jesus Christ is the only one who wears the crown. And that's the only one that we all should be bowing to. But unfortunately, people are bowing to Taylor Swift. And they can create a music video. They can make it trending, right? Don't forget the videos I did the last couple of days. What was trending number one and two worldwide? Somebody coming out. And what was the other one? A music video just called I'm Gay. Those were trending. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Everybody was just looking for that. And oh, it just naturally went trending. No, they're force feeding it to people. Just like they force these characters in movies. This is all it is, right? And then on the opposite side of it, they force Christians into movies 
and TV shows as these hateful people who are going to protesting. And if they're not doing that, they're wearing a sweater, looking like dorks, being hypocrites. When it, you know that that is how they portray it, and that is how they lead people away from Jesus Christ. Okay, so Taylor Swift allowed to do this. Of course, YouTube will let it trend, and everyone will say she's a hero, and everybody needs to calm down. Well, guess what? We're not calming down. We're not losing sleep over it. I'm not losing sleep over the LGBT because I mean. You know, there's only oh so much you can do, but I am losing sleep over the fact that they're the ones who are specifically targeting our right to free speech. That organization is trying to strip free speech away from society. And that I do have a problem with. It's like I said a million times, you know, your sin, you want to keep it, you know, and that's your, you deal with that on judgment day, you know, but keep it in your room, keep it in your bedroom. None of us care. Stop flaunting it. Stop showing it because all it's doing is influencing and they know exactly what it's doing. They know exactly what it's doing. And that's why they're doing it because that's just like the statistics you see with autism and all these diseases on the rise and you can point to vaccinations and chemtrailing. The same is with this. People just suddenly aren't coming out of the closet, but that's why they want to give you the illusion that they are to constantly be like, here's my story. I was my whole life, but I was afraid to come out. No. They're convincing people of this. They're sexualizing men to men and women to women in these specific demographics on TV shows, just like they're doing with kids. And that's how it works. There's no hate speech involved here. This is basic thinking. This is basic mind control. You know, somebody can flag it all they want. Mind control is a real thing. Influence is a real thing, okay? Hate is something completely different. You know what I hate? Satan. That's what I hate. I hate him, it, whatever you want to call it. Other than that, I feel for all of humanity, all people, even witches who have been misled, but they are still the enemy to Christianity. They're still our enemy because they're the ones who are influencing people to go along with this whole lifestyle and this mindset. I'm not talking about the lifestyle of LGBT. I'm talking about the lifestyle of do without wealth, the satanic mindset, a world with no laws, no morals. I hope that makes sense to people listening. So again, Taylor Swift wants everyone to calm down. You get your black and white. You get your butterflies, your MKUltra monarch slave butterflies. Uh, you get all the celebrities popping up. Of course, the mockery of Christians and whatever else I showed in there, the black and white, like I said. Nonsense. Just absolute nonsense. I thank you for listening to today's show. This video is in no way, shape, or form hate speech against anybody of that sex. I'm just pointing out the obvious and the mockery and the, hypocr the hypocrisy that is going on here because you're allowed to believe what you want to believe and do what you want to do. There's no law saying you can't be gay in America, so what's the problem? But we can't speak, and this is because the New World Order is using this as their way and their plateau to take away free speech and to destroy Christianity. That's what they're doing. I thank you again for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.